the war in Syria is still ongoing. But the intensity of fighting has subsided considerably in comparison with previous years of the conflict. The Syrian army has made lightning advances in recent months. The course of the war in Syria suggests the army could take back all territory from militants and terrorist groups in the near future. The army is currently preparing for a battle to retake the strategic northwestern city of Idlib on the border with Turkey. Some estimates suggest recapturing Idlib would mean the Syrian army controls over 75% of Syria. The army gains are partly attributed to help from Russia and Iran. Russian airstrikes and Iranian assistance significantly boosted the Syrian army's capabilities to fight terrorist groups. Western and regional countries which have sought the ouster of the government in Damascus have made no secret of their opposition to Russian and Iranian involvement in Syria. The United States, for instance, has spared no effort to undermine Russian and Iranian anti-terror efforts from the very beginning of their involvement. The White House had anticipated that Russian and Iranian efforts in Syria would fail. Russia would involve itself in a quagmire? Absolutely it will. If, if there's anybody who thinks that somehow the fighting ends because Russia and the regime has made some initial advances, about three-quarters of the country is still under control of folks other than Assad. As the Syrian army, backed by the Russian Air Force and Iranian advisers, liberate more territory, the United States is sticking to what many describe as a psychological campaign. U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton has claimed that Russia is stuck in Syria. Bolton says Moscow is now looking for other countries to fund Syria's post-war reconstruction. Bolton's comments were quickly dismissed by the Kremlin, which said Russia is playing an active role in Syria. I think this definitely shows that Russia has been tremendously successful in not only combating Daesh forces, but many of the rebel groups that were funded and created by the United States. It seems to me that the U.S. is very frustrated that Russia has managed to deal significant blows against these or these organizations. And as a way to try to undermine much of their efforts, they try to claim that Russia is bogged down. It's some kind of situation that the United States ironically finds itself in Afghanistan right now. Now. Bolton also said the U.S. wants to press the Iranians to leave Syria immediately. Observers have questioned the basis of Bolton's comments because the Russian involvement in Syria has been widely hailed as successful. Furthermore, Iranian advisers were invited by the Syrian government to help with anti-terror efforts. It seems like this is very much a manifestation of the frustration that the United States has had towards the, su the success of the allies, uh, Syria, Iran, Russia, and, and others in the endeavor to try to save the Syrian people from not only uh, U.S. destabilization efforts, but from ISIS as well. Some believe through such comments, U.S. officials are trying to distract attention from the presence of American forces on Syrian soil. The deployment of U.S. troops was never approved by Damascus and lacks any U.N. mandate. As Syrian forces push back militants nationwide and security returns to Syria, the presence of American forces in Syria seems increasingly unjustifiable.